you're watching Overdrive, the show that gets you all the news on the hottest cars and bikes in the business. I'm Shireen Bhan. Now, a few months ago, Bert spent three days in the little run of Kutch with the best luxury SUVs in the country. He had a blast, but he came away disappointed with their true off-roading capability. So the big question is, is there a luxury SUV that combines just that luxury with off-roading capability? Bert finds out if the Toyota Land Cruiser is the answer to his prayers. In 1941, the Japanese army occupied Philippines, found a Bantam Mark II, handed it over to Toyota, who then reverse engineered it to make a half-ton prototype dubbed the AK-10. Soon after, Toyota, inspired by the Land Rover, which was considered the finest off-road 4x4 vehicle at the time, decided to call their offering the Land Cruiser. The name stuck, and the rest, as they say, is history. Land Cruiser, it's a powerful name one that conjures up visions of cross-continental journeys of adventure and romance. But more importantly, it's Toyota's flagship SUV and it's finally here in India. But there's a catch to it. The Toyota Land Cruiser costs about 82 lakh rupees ex showroom and by the time it comes on road, it would be upwards of a crore. For a Toyota? I'm not too sure. Is it that special? What's there in it that would make you pay that much of money? Don't get fooled by the way the Land Cruiser looks. It's not your typical poser SUV. This anti-aerodynamic brick is anything but good looking. It however has tremendous personality, towering above every other car on the road. It's by far wider, longer and taller than any other SUV available in India today. But for all that size and weight, she moves like a performance tank off-road. Quick and unstoppable. Rupees. Well, for starters, you get full-time four-wheel drive. But then, what makes the Land Cruiser stand apart from a bunch of other pseudo SUVs is that it's got a low ratio, it's got diff locks, it's got a Torsen LSD in the central diff, and it's got a ladder frame chassis. And as any serious off-road enthusiast would tell you, a ladder frame chassis is the real deal. In fact, this all-new, high-rigidity ladder frame has been constructed using state-of-the-art technology. The transverse links in between the frame have been further strengthened for enhanced dynamic abilities both on and off-road. Height inside steel has been used throughout to reduce weight, yet give it much-needed rigidity and strength. It can travel across almost any surface with little resistance. She can ford rivers to a depth of 700 millimeters climb hills inclined at 45 degrees and has an approach angle of 30 degrees and departure angle of 20 degrees, all thanks to its 4x4 drivetrain and a Torsen limited slip differential. However, the adjustable suspension I spoke about will be replaced by the kinetic dynamic suspension, which automatically adjusts the ride depending on the terrain and conditions the Land Cruiser is driven in. Quite impressed with the ride quality, especially in off-road conditions. This luxurious barge was built to transport well-fed Arab sheikhs across almost any terrain in supreme comfort and luxury. It's got a kinetic dynamic suspension system which gives it optimum balance, stability and very good ride quality. This also comes with the crawl control system which is a unique system for the Land Cruiser. All you have to do in this case is switch it on and steer the car in the right direction. This 2.7-ton behemoth is powered by a 4.5-litre V8 diesel engine. Now, this engine is good for about 286 PS of max power. But 286 doesn't sound like much, does it, for a 4.5-litre V8 engine? Well, here's the catch. This engine makes about 650 Newton-meters of max torque 
and every time you step on the gas pedal, it feels like someone placed a big, massive 10 inch boot on your butt. The acceleration is outrageous. She does a 0 to 100 in about 11.9 seconds. And for a car that's this large and this heavy, that is stupendous performance. So, who's gonna buy a Toyota for about a crore of rupees? Well, the target consumers obviously were film stars, pop artists and captains of industry. But all of them have moved on to brands such as Audi, BMW, Mercedes and Porsche. But then here comes along a genuine 4x4 SUV. And what do we do about it? We begin to question its aspirations. I for one think the Toyota Land Cruiser is brilliant on-road. But she's an absolute gem of it. 